Condors who've not picked up a point yet if they go down and with a whitewash here they'll end up with uh, just the four they came with so they will be in fourth place and Team Germany in third and that's very very important for the future third in uh, Group A boxes second in Group B so it's very important to be in third spot so Eric Pfeiffer coming to the ring, one of the stars of the German side, and he's up against uh, Facundo Cesar Gilioni of Argentina. Again, lots of good form for Pfeiffer. So far undefeated in four under the WSB rules, 26 years of age, uh, made the last 16 in the last Olympic Games in 2012, got a bronze medal at the World Championships uh, the year before, the year before that he won a national gold medal, and the uh, year before that got into the last 16 of the World Championships before uh, getting a European bronze prior to that, and four times a national champion to boot, so a very decent boxer at Super Heavy, Ranked number six under the WSB rules. His opponent, uh, Gilioni, ranked number 20, 31 years of age now. He's won one and lost three under WSB rules. And uh, one of those defeats, by the way, was a knockout at the hands of Maxim uh, Babanin of Russia. So it's inconceivable to think here that uh, Gilioni can unseat Pfeiffer. So Pfeiffer in the black and gold shorts up against the man in blue, Gilioni. There he is. So round one of a scheduled five. And previous form doesn't give an awful lot of hope here for Gilioni. But uh, form, you know, often turned on its head. Will it be here tonight? Well, decent right there, I thought, from uh, Pfeiffer. And don't forget, of course, Eric Pfeiffer looking for his fifth straight win under the WSB rules. Lots of great form behind him to suggest he'll get it. And that's a knockdown. A right hand on the side of the head there has put Gilioni on his knees in round one. And it's not the problem here of Pfeiffer to decide where that punch landed. He threw it, it landed, that's enough. Well, you'll notice the referee did not pick up the count when Gilioni went down on his knees. Oh, he's got this time. And he's got the count. Well, a bit of poetic justice there. Back to time now for Pfeiffer to add the finishing touches here. One knockdown scored by him. No, oh, thumping left hook there, catching Gilioni. Good right hand also from Pfeiffer.
Well, time running out now for Eric Pfeiffer to get this one over in the first round, but uh, well, he'll still be looking for it. Gilioni, of course, looking to survive. And it doesn't matter to him how he does it. Yeah, we're inside the last 20 seconds now. And looks like Eric Pfeiffer is going to have to wait until at least the next round to find the finishing shot. Yep, Facundo uh, Giglioni has survived the opener. I say that with a bit of... Oh, it's gone down again! It's all over! It's all over in round one! Eric Pfeiffer declared the winner in the opening round as our referee waved about off with uh, Facundo Giglioni on his knees for the second time in the bout. So make that the third time in the bout. Yeah, very shaky still there, Giglioni. Cracking win, fifth on the spin for Pfeiffer. And there's the punch that did it, a lovely right hand on the side of the head. Yeah, but in the referee's opinion, there's no way that Giglioni was going to beat the count and be in the fifth position to continue. So he's waved it off just as the bell was about to sound the finish. Which, of course, means a 5-0 whitewash for Team Germany against the Argentinian Condors. And that is absolutely incredible. It gives them three points and puts them on six now. And as the Argentinians achieved a nil, it means they don't get any extra points added to their four, so they're now swapping paces with Germany. Above them, I think Italy... Uh, yes, Italy... Oh, well, it looks like uh, Germany will go to second position because I believe Italy have only got five points. The Ukraine Ottomans are in front with nine. But that will now put the Germans in second position. And uh, the Italians will be boxing uh, the Americans. And uh, we'll have to wait and see how that one pans out. Not an expression I like, but uh, there you go. So here we go then for the official verdict. Now, was that a referee stop contest or a knockout? Winner by Carl, the first round, is the fighter Rex Palmer, Eric Piper. Yep, Piper gets it by a knockout, so that's 150 points he gets. And as you can see there, the uh, the bell went at the three-minute mark, the right of the uh, the death of the opening round.